connecting the internet now i hope it works this time around all right so now the internet is working i'll click git push just have to type git push now then wait patiently for it to do that then after it has pushed all our codes to github and then we have to go back to our python anyway and uh, and then git pull nice one it has successfully um, pushed to git so let's go to the web browser and then we come back to um, bash whereby we type git pull again then it automatically pull those files for us then we come back to the site and then we refresh that and uh, Right, so we realize that there are no uh, blog posts showing over here. You shouldn't be uh, worried because of the blog post already, like it, it won't be similar to this because we are not using the same database. Oh, after we finish pulling, we have to do something, which is to come here and then reload. Sorry, sorry, because we already have a post in our... Django administration online so I'm reloading that all right so um, you click on this and reload that that's finished loading you come to the site here and then you hit enter then you realize that all the posts that we've created on our blog are all available here uh, i am learning django python programming i'm learning django python programming i am i love django etc all right so the next thing to dive into is css which simply means cascading style sheets and what you are going to do is to quickly uh, go back to our test editor and then um we introduce these two particular we copy these two links over here and then paste it in the head field so under this and just put it at the top here and then you save the file then you quickly go back to your site which is hosted locally and you see that there are some nice nice changes over here and they look so amazing that is indeed great and the next thing that we have to do now is to create a start uh, static files in django and uh, to do that we have to create a folder inside a uh, block which which will be called um, static so we come to block we already there then you control n that means you we are creating you for that then write static static hit enter open it then create another folder in it called css and then straight to your uh, test editor we have to create a file called block.css so we quickly do that by going to our um, test editor and then new and then save it and you have to save it inside blog static css and then we have to save it as blog.css then we save it and then we quickly copy this css syntax or code and paste it here save it let's go back to our site and see how it looks like uh okay refresh and see the 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 this thing 
Alright, so the next thing to, to do is to also include this thing. We, we don't need to include that. And then inside the, um, we will include this tag on top of our this thing to be able to load that particular static file. So we come here and then post list on top of the HTML. We paste this and type this and paste that particular code over there. The block, save it, and then uh, we link this by putting this inside a head, 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 head. Okay, inside the head, paste it, and then what else do we have to do here? All right, so it should look uh, it should look like this. Then we guys can actually be at the top, so we can uh, perhaps copy all these things doesn't matter really actually so that is it and then save it so we save the file and same thing as this so this is this and this okay where is this okay so I'll save this now and then come back to the site refresh wow so you can see some nice nice colors over here making the block or our block our block looking nice and then let's quickly rush the down and you can see python similar to this one and uh, we can go back to our css and then copy this code and straight to blog.css down paste save it come back to the site refresh and you realize that it has shift to um, the left side uh, by 15 pixel and then um, the next thing to do is to also add uh, this to our CSS um, where the head is we come back to post list and then down here where 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 okay then we paste this one to over there save it and then we come back to this copy this and then back to block.css and then we change this color this particular one the, the h1 tag and save it back to our site let's refresh and see what happens wow you can see that the font has changed and everything looks so cool and let's quickly dive more into HTML all right so we are going to um, inside the div over here in our post.html we will have to do some few stuff which is where the post is post 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 okay Alright, so we just type class equal to and then we type post post and then we save it and then where the Django girls name is we also create another one called class sorry div div class and then we type page dash header give it a name called header and now uh, that's all we save that and then come down 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 and we have to copy all these codes over here and paste it inside our css so we clear that particular one all right so copy this and then block dot css Ah, let's copy that again copy highlight delete paste then make sure you save it let's quickly move to our site again uh, refresh wow you can see everything has changed now and we have some bar having some orange and then the color the color of our blog post i'm learning Django etc has changed amazing right all right so um the next thing to do is to uh okay so every everything is 
cool. And uh, the way that this needs you replace that with this blog post, where we have. Alright, so we are supposed to replace the the declaration of classes over here to another this thing over here. So um, we are supposed to do this, copy this, or then from four to this, we delete it. Delete that, and then we paste this over there. And then that is date to save. And you go back to the site and let's refresh. And you can see everything that style wall 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 for us. I'll quickly match match this so that you can have a look at it. And see everything is looking very nice. Python jungle that you okay. That is it. So I'll bring this to the left side again. Alright, so we are cool and now what you are going to do is to um, create a base template and to do that we are quickly we will quickly go to the blog blog then template then inside the blog fo uh, folder we we create another um, file called base.save then we save it as base.html and we save nice one and then then all you have to do is to copy everything that we have in uh, post list you copy everything here and then paste it inside base okay so we have all this ready and then in the So where the body is over here you're going to replace that with this tag from the body we clear that and then delete this then we copy this up to this side we have to ignore okay so we can copy up to this and i'll have to delete this one okay then we paste that there then we save and then you have to go back to all right so now we are we have to remove some codes again at uh, so make sure you save the base and then move to post.html and then from this place this place this up to where the div is okay and then we are going to replace it with so we are going to replace it with this particular line copy this copy and then back to this place and then you paste nice one don't forget to save save this and then that is it so another thing to do is we are to on top of that we have to put in this this then we save and uh, the size should work fine again for us Okay, I made 
is a mistake somewhere I'm just supposed to copy this since it's an extension it's supposed to be at the top here then save it come back to the side it should work now okay sorry all right so i i made some mistakes somewhere so what you're supposed to do is actually clear all these things because inside the base we already have that and then we don't need the static files over there the only thing we need is the extend the base this thing so we delete this as well so inside your post list uh, post underscore list dot html this is what you need to have there save it and then the site should work now without giving us this error nice one so everything works now everything is intact and uh we are good to go all right so the next thing to do is to we are done with the this particular part and then our, our site works all right so this is it so you should have only this in your post underscore list.html and then save that scroll down scroll down and then you are going to extend uh, extend your application so um we inside our post underscore list.html we have to add this particular line to where this title is this place so i'll copy this copy and then come to your text editor and where the each one is each one tag is then we paste it over there then make sure you save it don't forget to save and then after you successfully save that run and then go to the site when you go to the site and you click on this you see we have the same error no reverse match at debit 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 all right so um the next thing to do now is to or oh, go to block urls so let's go to our sublime test editor we have my site and then url 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 okay so we have the url over here and uh, what you need to do is to add this URL to it to the the one the one that we are having that particular content. So you come down, then you paste that particular this thing over there. Then you save it. After you save it, we go to our this thing to see what's happening here. So you realize that we have block dot view, no attributes for post detail exactly. That is what you should be expecting and then what you need to do now is to um add a post detail view so we will do that by adding this so the primary key p key so, uh, we go to block dot view block dot view block okay so this is the block dot view and then we are to add post object dot this so this is what we are supposed to do come down all right so we we import this import and then copy this copy this and then come down here paste it paste and don't forget the indentation and then you save it And then that should work so let's quickly go to the site now refresh okay all right so we only have the template does not exist at post one ours is post one we didn't click on the post three so uh to in order to make uh, correct that particular uh, error that template does not exist error all, ha all we have to do is to go create uh, a new file called post underscore detail dot html so i'll come here then go to new then save the inside blog template blog over here save this and we save it as post 
underscore detail dot html and then copy this and paste inside all this copy this paste it here and don't forget to save you save it all right so let's quickly go to the site and then let's refresh and it works now Hooray! and we don't have that template that doesn't exist anymore all right so um now we have to you know the thing now it's time to do the git stuff git status and then git add all and don't forget the forget the dot and then um we write git status and uh git commit make sure you commit m then you say added view and uh, template template for detail detailed blog post as well as css for the site then you hit enter and then uh, the last thing to do is git push wait for it to push our post to our portal or to our github all right done and uh, we have to go back to our uh, bash in at python anywhere and type git pull nice one it has pulled now now we come back to our web and reload this wait patiently for it to load before it the it will be able to affect that change to our site as that is loading due to poor internet we are still here all right so as that is loading we come back to the tutorial okay nice one and uh, let's see how the site looks online wow okay everything has been affected here too nice 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 okay we are good to go all right so the next thing to do is to go to um our our uh, directory blog directory over here blog and then we have to create uh, um, a python file called forms.py so we come here then new save and then blog we save it to forms dot forms dot py save after you save that you copy the contents over here to that so we copy this copy and then don't forget the indentation it is very essential and this this then save it we are good make sure you save it and then uh, another thing to do is to go to our base class and where the page header is over here base where the page header page header page header is then uh, we put that at the top then we save it so something like this you put it at the top and then we save it and then we move back to blog.url blog.url and then add this this particular last line to it realize we have the first two okay then don't forget to save after you finish saving then um, you go to views now Block dot view, which is supposed to be here. View, then we come down again. So we have to add this to from post form. Copy this, paste it there, and then add this post new. Copy, come here, 
piece and don't forget the indentation yeah it's very important then save it after you finish saving it now that is it so we then what you need to do now is to go back to the site and see how it looks come here refresh all right so we can add new blog post right so you just click on this plus by uh, button then you see template does not exist so we have to do something else the blog underscore edit dot html okay i forgot to create that particular this thing in the directory called this so we we create that uh, edit post edit so new then we save it to template don't forget to add that blog and then it should be post edit post edit post edit so we have to create this file and I save it over here then save nice one and then when we come back to the site let's refresh all right so we don't have anything over there uh, so if you are not logged into the site you to be able to bring this particular request error for us then what you need to do in the post edit HTML, we copy all this content here and then come to our text editor paste it inside post underscore edit dot html save it and then come to the template we, when you refresh it everything should be normal now you can see we have new post title and your text then you can see it yeah everything works now okay so our post you can create a new post and etc and the next thing to do is to save in the forms okay so we quickly go to um Block dot view in our text editor where we have the view over here and uh, we have the new we have the uh, form the this thing come down come down come down come down come down all right so what you are going to do is to validate um, the form all right so we are going to validate the uh, form and uh, all that we have to do at the, uh, uh, for now is check if the form is valid and if so we can save it so block if form is valid and etc all right so uh, what you need to do right now is to copy this and paste it on top of this for redirect and then uh, we'll go to post detail page for the newly created post then we, we, we paste this there Post detail and uh, paste return redirect and then uh, that is it so our PUI should um, okay okay so um, I think I made some mistake somewhere so post new post detail think let, let me comment this line and then the post new so we should expect something of this nature copy this and then I will copy this one to as well paste and let's quickly work on the indentation this and then this and then this 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 then this then this we have to work on the indentation it's very very important okay so um that is it so post new and uh, And uh, over here, we are supposed to uh, 
so so and I right, so Alright, so we have to return with the right. So I'll, uh, okay, so I've commented that one out since this will be taking care of the new this thing created. So I'll save the file. Sorry. Save, then come to the site. We we come. What was next? Okay, so we we then go to the title. We create and then we save. Alright, so I'll pause here. Alright, so we run into the same uh, error over here. And uh, for us to correct it, we have to try to save the form without title and test. Guess what's happened. Okay, so what you need to do is to do some few tick to it. I'm going to pause over here and then we continue in the next video.